The next question, the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. Speaker, yesterday a report released by the FAO showed a stark employment decline in cities like Windsor, Thunder Bay, St. Catharines, Niagara, and the province's biggest employment region, Toronto. Small and medium-sized businesses are the economic powerhouse in Ontario and, indeed, across Canada. Just this morning, I heard um, a seminar put on by Dan Kelly from the uh, the Federation of Canadian Independent Businesses that really talked about how small businesses were struggling and he was presenting to the Scarborough Business Association. Now more than ever, they need support from their provincial government to hold on. Restaurants and businesses, frankly, across all sectors in every corner of this province are needing support, liquidity and stability. And the road to recovery ahead is long. It's not going to be a quick bounce back. Tax deferrals alone will not go far enough. We need to ensure that small businesses will survive through to the recovery so that they can maintain their position in our society as job creators. Will the minister commit to implementing a multi-year financing payback program specifically designed for small and medium-sized enterprises so that they will have the time that they need to repay these tax deferrals and give them the support that they so desperately need? The Minister of Finance to reply. So Mr. Speaker, I, th I thank the member for, for her question, and, and we are open to all ideas in terms of how we will support uh, our small businesses and our larger businesses. As this legislature knows, we introduced a $17 billion program. That was $7 billion in direct support. Uh, that has included support from a rent perspective. That has included support from an electricity perspective. We've also been, uh, been keen partners with the, or the federal government in terms of their supports with regards to liquidity. Uh, Mr. Speaker, we have uh, uh, we have stepped up for small business. Uh, we have put in place the eviction ban to support small business. We have put in place a number of measures to make sure that we are listening to our small business community. Our Minister of Small Businesses has held over 40 roundtables with those businesses, taking in those ideas. And, Mr. Speaker, what we know our small businesses really want is the chance to reopen. And I'll comment on that during my supplement. Question. Thank you, Speaker. And I do want to say back to the Minister of Finance, the $17 billion includes $10 billion in tax deferral, which speaks to my earlier question. Will you create a program that doesn't require that payback in the fall of this year when many small businesses are simply just trying to hold on? So, I also want to say that since the minister last updated the House on March 25th regarding the province's economic and fiscal outlook, so much has changed as a result of this pandemic and as a result of the responses and the measures put in place to protect lives. That has affected our economy to a great deal. Now that the Ontario government has entered phase two in the reopening, we do need a clear picture of what the economic outlook is so that we can properly plan for a full recovery. A fiscal update in August is far too late. The federal government announced last week that they will do an update on July 8th. So I'm asking the minister today, will you commit to doing an update on Ontario's economic and fiscal outlook? by July the 15th so that we can have the information in this House, in this legislature, to properly plan for a full recovery in terms of the programs and services and supports that are needed, like a small business recovery plan that is more multi-year and realistic Question. based on the ec economic realities that small businesses and others are facing across this province. Thank you. Thank you. Minister of Finance. So, so again, I thank the member for, for acknowledging the work of, of this government in terms of supporting the health of, of people and, and, and as well for her support of the tax deferrals and her party's support of the tax deferrals, which were, were supported unanimously uh, by everyone in this legislature. Um, we will and we were unique among governments of Ontario in providing an update related to COVID. And we made it clear at that time we'll continue to produce those updates. So it is great to see other provinces following our lead and indeed great to see the federal government following our lead in July. We will provide an update in August as planned uh, to make sure Ontarians know where we're going. But I want to touch just briefly on the issue of reopening. We know that what our small businesses want is to reopen. And Mr. Speaker, it is so good to see that the plan that this government put forward, a careful, 
but deliberate plan laid out at the end of April is now leading not only to the reduction of cases in our first priority, but also to the reopening, uh, not just in Scarborough, but in other parts of the province and soon in all parts of the province. Mr. Speaker, our small businesses and businesses want the opportunity to get out and get back into business. I echo my colleagues' comments about all of us in the Legislature taking the opportunity to get out, to see the small businesses, to see that we support them, and to show Ontarians that it is safe to go back out into our communities. Thank you.